All right, what's up? Welcome to Black Nostalgia. I am your host, Tracy J, and this is my lovely co-host, BB Love. What's hey, going on? So what is going on with you? It's been a couple weeks. We both have had some busy lives. So what has been up? What's new? Nothing much. I just get to college. But other than that, just living life. How about you? Girl, everything. Okay. <laughs> everything. <laughs> it has like two weeks has been just a lot, but a lot of yeah. good things. Um, new beginnings and I'm you know I posted the other day that you know I prayed hard to be in this position where I am now and I didn't know how these things Mm -hmm. were going to come but I was just patient and focused and now I feel so at peace and yeah so I'm feeling like myself again because July was hectic for your girl Okay, I went to like 80,000 concerts. It was poor timing as far as like with the things that was going on in my life, plus the the tickets that I already had. Um, Yeah. Off topic, though, Missy Elliott was the bomb dot com. Was it? I've seen a lot of footage from it and it Mm -hmm. looks like an amazing show. It was an amazing show. Someone, I mean, I'm not trying to take away from her ticket sales or nothing, but somebody put the 4K version of the entire show on YouTube. So if you get a chance to watch watch it, it, watch it because they had a Mm -hmm. good view. It was clear. I mean, it was it was everything. It was a really good show. She she was just amazing. I'm happy to cross that off my bucket list. So, yeah. That was a highlight for me. Um, but let's get into it because on Friday, our girls came back, and our girls are the Braxton's Tony, Tawanda, Trina, Tamar, Miss E, and unfortunately, my favorite, Tracy, is no longer here. But mm-hmm. did you watch it? I watched it. I did. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's go. So so the beginning, you know, it starts off. It seems like they're arriving at, I don't know if that's Tony's house or whatever, you know, everybody's coming in and um, it's their grief counseling session, but then they Mm -hmm. circle back, they scale back um, Mm -hmm. to two days prior to the grief counseling where they all meet up for dinner in Atlanta and Mm -hmm. they haven't been together. They said in a couple years, which is kind of crazy to me. So did that say odd? Very odd. I was very taken aback by that. I thought if anything, Tracy's death would have brought them closer, but for whatever reason. Right. I I, I was and then all of them live in Atlanta now. Like Tony said, she is kind of bi coastal, so she has a home in Atlanta mm-hmm. and in LA. Um, we know Tamar lives here now, and Mama E lives here. So why had it been two years? I wonder if they were just saying that for TV or if they was being dead ass because that's weird, especially after losing a sister. After losing a sister, I would think that it it would get better, but. If people have changed and people have grown, then I could I could see why probably. Who yeah, the common denominator is in the shit show. Who is it? Who is it? Miss Tamar and her spool <laughs> brat selfish self. I love her to death. She gives the best comedic moments, like when they were at the dinner and Trina was beginning to get emotional. She was like, you about to cry? And it was like, she really was about to cry. But then she was like, is that cheese? And tried to touch her plate. So it was like, Mm -hmm. stuff like that makes me love Tamar because she's so all over the place and funny, but you can just tell Tamar is still Tamar. Yeah, I I think Tamar, I wish Tamar would just accept the fact that she is who she is. I think that she tries 
where she gets frustrated is when she's like, no, understand me, understand me. It's like, okay, I am who I am and this is it, you know, just be who you are. And if they don't like it, they don't like it, Um, which not everybody is going to like it, you know, but um, she is growing up and she's like 50 something. So where is she 50? I think she is 50. She's she's one to getting close to it if she's not already and she still acts twenty five. So. Yes. Why yeah. is she like that? The baby, the baby is just yeah spoiled That's in, true. in a sense. Um, but she can be you, but why do you always have to give? I'm better than y'all. Yeah, that's the problem. That's Why problem. does it have to give I'm better than y'all? Mm-hmm. Like the like whole like, thing with the grief counseling. counseling. Mm-hmm. Yes, I already did mine. I'm just here for y'all. And then, no, like, have to do it as a family. Exactly. Because you doing counseling by yourself doesn't heal the issues that we have within this family. So it's right. like, okay, you may have done grief grief counseling to, for you to get over Tracy's death, but we need to do it together as a family to get over Tracy's death and see why we don't get along as sisters before we lose another one. Like, it's just so, you know, this divided just disregards everybody. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know. It, it was sad, you know, just from beginning to it end. It was really sad. Um, because Tracy was one of the main ones who, although she spoke her mind, she let them know mm-hmm. that she wasn't for the shit. She was the sister who would bring them together and say, I love my sisters. Yeah. I want my sisters. I, she was that one. Um, I've been watching a marathon on Roku. And um, there's one part where she's like, she's in the kitchen and they had just had an argument. Well, of course, they had an argument about something. And she goes around the room and she says, I take something from everybody. You know, Trina, I wish I could be more business minded like you. And Tamar, I wish I could be da 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 Like she goes through and, mm-hmm. and all their flowers. And even if in the moment of where she they weren't, like she was pissed at them. She still was like, mm-hmm. no, but at the end of the day, you guys are my sisters and I love you. So I, I just think that they should do a better job of giving Tracy what she wants. Not just the show. I know that they said the show is that is, you know, Tracy's wishes, mm-hmm. but she wouldn't want them not being together, not being around no, each other. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, How do you feel about how do you feel about them showing her like in those last days? Um, I feel like Tracy probably genuinely asked them to do that. I don't think mm-hmm. that they would disrespect her like that. You know, yeah. they're very much private as far as that stuff goes. Um, yeah. So I, that's the only reason why I was OK with it. It it, it was sad as hell. But it was tough, right? Oh, it was tough to watch but I do mm-hmm. feel like they were honoring her wishes yeah it was sad to watch I the fact that they showed it I felt the same way I said I know she you know they probably had her permission to show mm-hmm. her like that but oh my god it was just it was heartbreaking to see her like that and I guess not what they wanted but I don't know it kind of puts into perspective I guess what they were going through but did you catch that I don't know. I don't think they said it on the show. It might have been in like coming up this season and like that. It came out that Trina was the only one that was like actually there when she died. Yeah. When I think she they did say life. that in that episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They did say that. Um, I feel that was crazy. Probably the worst for Trina out of all the sisters. Me too. Because yep. she's suffered the most loss in the short amount of time. They yes. lost their niece, Lauren, Michael's daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they lost, she lost Gabe mm. and then Tracy. And it Tracy. was all very sudden. Um, so I, and then to be with her when she took her last breath, I'm just sure, I, I, I just feel really bad yeah. for Trina. And Trina is human. 
and she's like all of us. So she is drinking and eating her feelings. And I'm sure yeah. she's getting a lot of comments about how different she looks or how much weight she's mm -hmm. gained. And that's just very unfair yeah. because for the past probably like four years, she's been eating her feelings. Yeah, I was going to say between lost and then finding new love and get married, because at first I thought it was happy weight because she had got married. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They really seem like they're a good, genuine couple that, you know, really love each other. And then the loss. So between the two, it's like nobody's got time to diet and exercise. <laughs> I really like I feel Bond. like Trina. Is, huh? I really like Vaughn for her. Me too. And, and I feel I like Trina is the most level headed out of all of them. Absolutely. The most the most level headed and the most fair. Mm -hmm. The least petty. Yes. Even even with the mama. Like I feel like Trina <laughs> is the only one that like really has her head on straight. <laughs> you know Mama E petty. <laughs> she really mama E is petty. And but she I wants it her way or no way, whether it's right or wrong. Yeah, I do feel for her too, though, because she did lose a child. Absolutely. Um, a grandchild yeah. and a child. You know, that's, that's, yeah. and clearly that's she's crazy. still grieving the loss of her marriage or what she thought her yeah. marriage was, you know? So, absolutely. That, I feel like she never got any type of healing through that either. Um, mm -mm. And she probably never will because she's of that generation where they just, you know, it is what it is, you know, and they just have to ignore their feelings yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, I feel I feel really bad for the family. But um, there was some moments, you know, that were funny, like when mm -hmm. um, when it was like, oh, Tracy holding our purses. <laughs> like she would be like, here's yeah. yours, here's yours. Yeah. And then, <laughs> in one of the old episodes. <laughs> When they were performing <laughs> on stage, and this is before Tracy was doing backgrounds and stuff, they made her hold mm -hmm. their purse as well. Not, she was like, they got me holding their purse. So I'm holding like, their purse like I'm a wannabe. I used to hate that. You remember they used to put that on her name in the I beginning like that it. she was the wannabe? I said, a wannabe what? A wannabe Braxton? She's already a Braxton. Exactly. So I, I, didn't I hated like that. that. I hated know, that. That's why her career... Her career did do well. She did do pretty well yeah. in the adult contemporary lane. Like, oh, yeah. She dropped, and then she especially in the album. D.C., Maryland area. Mm -hmm. they, they loved, loved her, her singles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I like Last Call, girl. Last Call was my little jam. I mm -hmm. like that. Last Call was good. Yeah. Tracy just, she deserved everything that she got positive mm -hmm. in her life. Like, she was a she was by far my favorite. And I feel like the show is going to, I hope that it's not super serious now that right. Tracy's gone because Tracy was the comic relief. Like she, she was. was without trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. I love when her and Tamar yeah. were getting along because they were hilarious together. They were hilarious together. Yeah. They really were. Uh, how'd you feel about Tony and her news? awful because it's like dang how much more bad news can you get mm -hmm. um and with her it seems like it's a different health scare like every time you turn around there's something going on with her health so mm -hmm. that stinks um definitely can relate to the fear and anxiety she has about like you know who's going to take care of her boys not wanting to tell her family because it's like well dang here's another blow to you know the family and are they going to worry about me you know or be worried. So mm -hmm. that was crazy, but I'm just like, follow the doctor's orders, take it seriously. Like, don't play with it. Um, thank God Tracy was that angel sitting on your shoulder that, you know, you didn't end up having the heart attack and that you got treatment before, um, you know, things got worse or went too far or whatever, because she said like, if she hadn't have gotten the issue addressed or whatever, she probably would have died. So that's yeah. just crazy too. Like, dang. I know. Dang. It kind of it kind of reminds me of like TLC, how yeah. T Boz is always, you know, she's been sick. battling yeah. illness, sickle cell, heart. She mm -hmm. had a heart um, surgery. Yeah. I she had something going to tumors and she had all kinds mm -hmm. of things going on and mm -hmm. left eye was one to pass. 
You know what right. I'm saying? It was, yeah. and and they probably always, Tony has probably always had some sort of health issues growing up. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, yeah, I feel like that, you know, they're used to Tony, even though it's, it's hard for them with Tony, but because um, she is the golden child. Didn't they used to put that on there too? That Tony was the golden I think child. So, something like that. Living legend or something crazy. He was the golden child and um Tamar was the, the superstar. I'm like, yeah. And exactly. they were executive producers back then. I don't think the other sisters were. And you can't tell me Tamar didn't have a hand in that. Oh yeah. Tamar what definitely their little titles were. I, I'm sure that yeah. Tamar was the one who yeah. called her one. And that was just yeah. disrespectful. And and if I was Tracy, I would have laid Tamar out a couple of times. And she but, probably did. She probably did. Apparently, but, they never put their hands on each other, which I'm like, you should. Yeah. That's, that's what Tamar is missing. That, though. I feel like she's never got her ass whooped. <laughs> And I, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not, I swear to God, I like Tamar. I really do. But some you I can tell too. somebody never got their ass whooped. You gotta get your ass yes. whooped one time. I feel like one time. If it's girls on the streets, like girls at school that didn't like Tamar, her sisters will oh, always yeah. probably have her back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she never had to fight. Absolutely. And in the house, she always got her way. Oh, don't you know that's the baby? That's the baby. She needed to get laid out one good one good time. time. One good time. Because the mouth is just too much. Um, oh, let's talk about Kevin, little Kevin. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Being a mom of one son, I that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Yes. Because yes. although my son has a great relationship with his dad, his dad is very present. We have a bond that yes. is different. Mm -hmm. And my worst fear is leaving this earth before he is old enough Able to, to take care of himself. handle it and take care of himself. Yeah. And I know that, you know, little Kevin was married and so he was married very young. He's only mm -hmm. in his early 20s, I believe. So yeah. he's super young and all the answers, like the things he's going on you know things going on with his marriage with Olivia yeah. Tracy loved Olivia mm -hmm. so she did he doesn't have her to lean on and ask for advice and for her to kind of I feel like she would have been able to talk to them both and yeah get and I can almost bet that his marital issues are based on him not being able to handle his grief oh, absolutely. I can almost guarantee it 100 percent 100 percent yeah um, and even the way he's reacting, like she filed for divorce, he didn't file for divorce. Yeah, and I feel like she probably, um, you know, overwhelms with the kids. Uh, do they have yeah. two now? I'm not sure. I know they have one, but I don't know if I, I don't I know, know if they, they have, have two one. And I, I can't remember if she was pregnant again at one point. I, I think she was, but I can't remember. Was. Yeah, I, I want to say she had another child, but mm -hmm. ugh, I just, I, yeah. I, my heart breaks for him. And I'm, I'm happy that he um, agreed to be on the show because, you know, little Kevin mm -hmm. is shy. He's not, right. he's not like very, he's nothing like his mama. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I was happy to see him on the show yeah. um but i i know it's hard for him every day and i don't know what they have to do i hope they show more this season of them reaching out to little kevin and you know putting their arms i think that's him. supposed to be like part of tawanda's storyline i think okay. trying to be a mom for him but that's hard when he's in maryland and you're here like he needs yeah. like i don't know I just, I don't know. I just, I know. there's so much I wonder about because it's like, we only see what they want to put on TV. Facts. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, so why is it to Wanda's storyline that she's checking up on, you know, little Kevin? Like it should be all of them checking up on little Kevin, especially his grandmother. And it's like, Miss Eve, won't you go to Maryland and stay with him for a little while? Or even to Wanda or bring him down here. Like, does he want to move down here and get a fresh start or something like that? I don't know. 
-hmm. And I guess maybe they'll probably tell more in the, you know, throughout the season because it was only the first episode, but I just feel like they're not doing enough. And that's me on the outside looking in. It's just TV, but I'm Perhaps, like, we, we can only do enough. Y'all not um, even talking to each other. So I know y'all ain't talking to him. At least that's the story y'all are portraying for the TV show. I got to keep reminding myself. Yes, yes. But that's all we can go off of, you know. Yeah. Um, now, I will say that Big Kevin, may, he went live. And yeah. I don't know if you saw it. Did you see it? I saw it? some of it. Okay. I saw a little bit of it. It wasn't nasty. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. It wasn't messy. He had nothing bad to say about the family. He kept yeah. it really about Tracy and um, about them. And he, you know, reiterated the fact that they had a village. You know, mm -hmm. yes, the Braxtons are a village and that's her family. Right. And he, he always encouraged her to be with her sisters, even though they, yeah. they have a problem with Kevin. I don't know what they real deal with Kevin is, right. like, besides what they've said. Mm -hmm. um, but they had a whole village in Maryland, in DMV area. They had yeah. their, um, he said his, he's a Mason. His motorcycle club. Yeah, his motorcycle club. Um, Tracy worked for some company. I can't remember the name, but for some company mm -hmm. uh, for like 25 years or something mm -hmm. before the show um, popped off. Mm -hmm. So she had friends and family, church yeah. and, and things like that. Um, so they weren't alone. They mm -hmm. weren't you know, they had a lot of people and he had a lot of support, but he did say they had to move out of their family home. Mm -hmm. He had to start over. And um, yeah, when you're grieving your wife of 30 years, oh my God, I couldn't imagine. For your kid too. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's hard. Like, I feel so bad for him because if he cheated, well, the, from from the episodes I saw, Tracy said they both stepped out. They both cheated, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, they both cheated. They they were together a very long time from the time mm -hmm. they were kids. But yeah. one thing for certain, she was the only one who had a consistent man from the from the early nineties. And they loved and each they other. You could her, tell that they were there. still in love with each other. Yes, very it much so. It wasn't no fake. Nothing. Where it goes to waves. Absolutely. To waves. You might be, you Absolutely. might hate each other for a year and a half and then be in love. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it with my parents. Like yes. they go through spurts where they just do not get along. They're yeah. just for some reason. And then they be lovey dovey again. Back in love like, again. Yes. Cause people change, people grow, people evolve. I say all the time I've been married for 21 years and I say marriage goes in cycles of seven. It's like every seven years, it's going to be some bullshit. Just be prepared. <laughs> okay. Like, just be prepared. And if the, you love that person, you're going to fight through that storm and, you know, and make it work. But yeah. That's the beauty of marriage. I think and I feel like that's why they don't like Kevin either. It's like all of our men are effed up. Yours need to be effed up too. Come join the, yep. join the misery party. Yep. And she didn't leave him when he cheated. Exactly. He just cheated back. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, but it's funny because I know Tracy. It's not funny, but it's funny. I know Tracy. She was going to get her lick back. I still love you, but I got to get my lick back. <laughs> right. And her mama, yes. you know, her mama left, which I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. But I think that yeah. I think the way that they're well, I know that the way that their parents relationship turned out has affected them drastically. Yes. And all of them. Relationship. Oh my God. Like mm -hmm. it was devastating for them. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, but I did like what Big Kevin had to say. I hope that one day that they all can they can include Big Kevin and Little Kevin and not just Little yeah. Kevin and treat Big Kevin like he is family because that's what Tracy yes. probably would have wanted. Absolutely. You know, um Absolutely. and uh, a lot of people don't talk about this, but I think there was some resentment towards Tracy and her family because she chose to stay close to the dad. And yeah. I think, I think with her and Mikey and the dad being in the DMV, they didn't, they don't treat Mikey the same. Mikey's a boy. He can do whatever he wants, but I think Tracy yeah. was supposed to act a certain way. And she just not yeah. like that. That's, her dad 
That's not her, right? I don't think she chose to stay there necessarily to be close to her dad. I think she already had a life in a step. They yeah. left her basically when yeah. y'all became singers and famous. I got a husband and a child we got to take care of. If I can't do what pop pop background with y'all, I'm going to have to make this situation work. So she got a job. Like you said, she was at the same company for 25 years or whatever, but living in the same state, like how can I not have a relationship with my parents? And right. I think that's what they they wanted for they wanted her to hate him as much as they did. And Tracy took the stance of I'm not taking sides. They're both my parents and I love them both equally. And I love them both the same. Daddy messed up. But it is what it is. We all good Christians. We got to forgive him. He's still my daddy. Yep. So y'all want me to hate him. But Trina, you mad because he didn't come to your wedding because you wouldn't invite his wife. But. I don't hate him and I've had dinner with him and his wife and y'all mad at me because of that. They are petty and immature, <laughs> but that is absolutely true. Like they really was mad at her about that. Mm -hmm. They never came out and said it, but you could tell. Oh, it's like, uh, oh, yeah. you was with daddy. Yeah, like why not? That's my dad. I had a barbecue, my dad's coming over. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm gonna let Miss Wanda come because that's his wife. So if I wanna exactly. see my dad, I gotta see her. It's not like they didn't know Miss Wanda. They know Miss Wanda. Y'all know Miss Wanda? You was Miss Wanda Ms. wrong? Yes, we can all agree that Daddy and Miss Wanda were wrong, but the Daddy was wrong, girl. Okay? <laughs> he, was wrong. he was. He was. Married. They both was equally wrong because Miss Wanda, you knew that man was married. Yeah, she, yeah, she knew he was girl. And you was friends you with knew that man was married. Mama E. So uh -huh. it's like it's, it is it is bad, but I don't believe this is just my assumptions. I don't know the people for real. I think Miss E got a lot of sass in her. Oh yeah. And a lot of uh she 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 might be a little difficult to get along oh, with. Oh yeah. And I'm not saying that she pushed him away. Right. But I'm not saying saying that she made that they both didn't play, play their part in dissolving that marriage mm -hmm. yeah. and i don't think absolutely want, just because she didn't cheat doesn't mean that she was um a great companion for him 100%. i'll just say that i'll just say 100%. that i feel like tamar has a lot of her mama in her Oh my god i was gonna say the same thing her and tamar are twins they are twin flames twin souls Twin personalities, they are the same. One and the and same. And we saw how Tamar um, was with this. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll say this. If you're not happy, get a divorce. Just because the other one's acting up, don't give you cause to step out. Right. Like, um, right. Seriously. No, yeah. you're right. I mean, everybody, it, it, the marriage didn't fail just because the dad. Because of him. Strong. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Not he yeah, was no. wrong at all. He was wrong as hell and he was a pastor. It was totally wrong. But yes, there's some fault in all those situations. Oh, yeah. On both sides. Um, On both sides. I will say this. This is a little gripe though. So I had made a video a while ago <laughs> talking about um Tawana cutting off her hair and how she did it as a um basically to honor Tracy. And I posted the video where she's talking about, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I did it because of Tracy. And so when people were like, she has alopecia, I'm like, no, she doesn't. She says it right here that she, she's not sick. She's not sick. And then let's have her get on the show and say, well, I have alopecia. Girl, it's real convenient. You got alopecia today. Cause then you just say you didn't have alopecia. So which one is it, Tawanda? And I, you know, I try to, I try to defend Tawanda when people be like, you know, Tawanda, she's messy. She's, you know, blah 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 blah. But now I'm starting to think, are you being messy? Because do you really have alopecia? Why did the, did you figure out you had alopecia when you shaved your head? I'm confused. Did, are you confused too? I'm in confusion. I'm not confused. I feel like they be real celebrity like when it's convenient. Hmm. That's what I that's what it gives me because you went on this whole tirade about even tried to give Trina shit about not cutting her hair before oh. you spilled your alopecia beans. 
Right. It was given Amanda Seals. I'm on the on the autism spectrum, but I've never been to the doctor to confirm I'm on the autism. This is what I feel. That's what it gave when she said that on that show. I was like, so there was a lot of moments in the show that made me side eye. You know, we did our video talking about reality TV. Mm -hmm. But so it's like we know what we know now about reality TV shows and how they work and the setups yes. and the yes. whatever. But them talking about the alopecia, I'm like, okay, so this is about to be a storyline because now how much you want to bet Tawanda's going to go to the dermatologist or the doctor at some point this season and talk about her head now. Yep. After you already said that, you know, whatever. So it's like, I, it's given predictability because I already know that that's going to be part of your storyline now. So is it a true diagnosis or is it part of, I got to make a TV show now. But right. that part, and like at the end of the episode, when the grief counselor came and they broke the fourth wall and they were like, Trina in spirit, hold, don't wait, walk don't walk in yet. Like that whole scene was like, why did y'all do that? Like, why did you need to break the fourth wall? It's already given faith. Huh? I don't know why they're showing breaking the fourth wall. I I don't think it's. Yeah, it's I don't like that because it's already given fake enough. But now it's it's really given fake because the whole thing. Oh, let's hurry up and sit down. Like just that whole chaos of the opening of that scene. I hated it. I'm like, why is production doing that? Because it's already given. We got to give people something to look at. And now. Yeah. You're breaking the fourth wall like that and really showing like the setup setup. Because if y'all are about to go into grief counseling, why did that need to be shown that it was a staged scene for the TV right. show? Like I hated yeah. everything about I that. I think it takes the um, um the sincerity out of the scene. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it was such yes. a serious scene that I didn't need to see them say yeah. that. They could have just. No. I understand that that's how reality TV works. They have to set it up and say, walk in and you're. Yeah. You're in. I exactly. get that. But we don't have so to. So that, that and even the fact of them mentioning that it was really late, like they couldn't believe their dad was still up. So I'm like, so y'all are really oh. giving reality TV show now. Like, why are y'all talking to a grief counselor if it's like late at night yeah, like that just know, none yeah, of that made right. sense to me you know what you're right because in that part i don't know why i was when they said it was late my mind automatically went to oh they're in la he's in baltimore no they were in no atlanta. Same time zone. they were in atlanta so it's like well what time is it and why you got stranger <laughs> grief counselors coming to your house in the middle of the night and yeah, why is should daddy be asleep? Like, I thought y'all was having dinner. Like, I'm so confused. Well, maybe, you know what? Uh, he old. Maybe it was eight. <laughs> but uh -uh. still, the grief counselor being over at nighttime is still coming. Or they didn't even have to mention it. Like, I just feel yeah, like that was something they could have kept to himself. Yeah. We, we yeah, didn't like, because we could have just guessed that it was evening, like, we didn't see outside like we couldn't necessarily tell that it was you know dark outside or anything like that but the fact that y'all did the whole breaking up the fourth wall and saying you know oh, daddy we didn't think he was gonna make it because it's so late like we can't believe you still up daddy like i just feel like they could have kept all that to themselves because it's really given reality show and not real life and that sucks because i want it to be like you know real life i don't know no i i get that i i get that <laughs> I did see um, Tawanda talking about the alopecia and talking about, this was on an interview and she was talking about how she's like an advocate. She's trying to be an advocate for that. And I'm just like, so are I you? I ain't seen nothing. Yeah. Cause I haven't seen you. Well, I don't follow her, but. Is it because you wear wigs and you got um, traction alopecia? Traction alopecia. Or because traction alopecia is different than just alopecia. 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 Yes is patches and whatever and some people will have just different things but when you got traction alopecia you can get it from right. look i probably got a little bit from I was gonna say, you can grow your hair back you know and and they wore wigs and stuff a lot so yeah. did you have traction alopecia and then cut off if you want to cut off your hair fine but tamar had cut off her hair way before that exactly she did and she just cut it off it was just oh i cut it off yeah. you know so Okay, cool. But I, I just thought that that was very performative. And girl, you made me look like a, a liar. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, hold as on. As soon as she said it, 
I ran to your page. I was like, wait a minute. And I ran to your page and rewatched your videos because I'm like, now wait a minute, Tawanda. I was like, I yeah. just seen this or heard about this somewhere, but she gives messy boots. She she she's oh. sneaky with it, but she, yeah. It, she's real, that, that she's real strategic and planned. It turned me real off because I was like, Well, girl, it could be both. You could say yeah. it is both, but you should have said that initially. When yeah. you were just so defensive, like, hey, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Mm-hmm. Girl, got me, got me screaming from the rooftops. This girl ain't sick. She don't got no alopecia. And then you're like, well, I do have alopecia. Mm-hmm. Girl, your edges was just pulled from them wigs. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Oh, if you want to cut your hair, girl, cut your hair. It looks fine on her. I think it looks beautiful on her. I think it looks great on her. I like yeah, it. like she has a, she, you know, Tawana got the, the bone structure. Tawana yep. has the face card. Yeah. Okay. Her face is gorgeous. So yes. crazy. Anyway, that, that pissed me off. <laughs> I'm just going to say that pissed me off. <laughs> when um, I was watching the show, like every time Tamar came on screen, now in her confessionals, Tamar looks amazing. Yes. But while they're filming, I'm like, oh, she's so dressed down. Why does she have on sweats every day? Like, what is oh, this yeah. tomboy face given? And then I went to her page just to see like what she had posted or what she said about the show, because I know if anybody said anything, it was going to be her. Um, and she posted the video of them looking at like Tracy's back, um, yes. her, t- her back tattoo or whatever, which is beautiful, by the way. I love that. Um, that and she posted a video from her and JR at the premiere party or whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh And the caption was like, even though I'm just a friend of the show, like, number one, y'all are not marketing it that way. So you're just a friend of the show. So you like the Marlo Hampton of the show, like you're just a friend of the show Um, and that you don't totally agree with the show. But I'm doing it for y'all like another I'm better than y'all situation again. And it's like, why did you even have to say that? Because now it's making me look at you crazy. Like, what? Even if you felt that way, everybody else does not need to know. But to me, it says, okay, that's why she's not getting dressed up. That's why she got on sweats every time, you know, they're you filming. Whether, whether it's a restaurant or at somebody's house, like, you look like a bum. Like, are you doing that on purpose? I don't know. It's just. Not that, no, I'm saying that, that Burberry uh, sweat suit was cute. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> I mean, she looks cute, but I'm just like, it's not given. What were yeah, you no, to? She looks like she doesn't want to be there. She doesn't want to be there. Yeah, and it's it's clear now. If you feel like if your contract says, "Hey, out of eight, eight episodes, I'm only going to be in five or right. whatever," we don't need to know that. We, we know that you're a friend, know. and we know that you're a sister. We're not going to think of you as a friend of the show, regardless. A special right. guest. And then I did see at the end of the episode, it said. She was her production company was a mm-hmm. part. Did you see that? I so I'm like, that. okay. So she's a producer, but doesn't want to be on the show. But I, I'm I, I'm trying to figure because Tamar is her own problem. So the problems that you have with the show is probably because you created them. Yes. And you're still doing it. Still doing it. What yeah. is the point? Tony don't and Tony can act like that. Right. Tony can be like, okay, I'm not really, I'm not on the show like that. I'm not gonna be, but she's being super vulnerable. Yeah. Super vulnerable. I mean, I I've never seen Tony cry so much. No. She was crying in her confessionals, crying mm-hmm. at dinner. Like she's really going through it. And she is the superstar of the family. Yeah. Like, don't get that twisted at all. Tamar is not the superstar of the family. You are, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like this is going to be her last scene and season. Like, <laughs> I feel like she's, after this, yeah. they're just going to shut it down. I yeah. think after eight episodes, I think they're going to mm-hmm. end it. I think so too. So we better. Where else can it go and what else is there to talk about? Like, it's not like it used to be. No, I, I, yeah, I don't think that they should continue after this. And I'm not saying that the show is not good and I'm not going to watch it, yeah. but the spark is gone. 
Absolutely. I felt that. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, this is this is kind of boring. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I feel like they should address the fact that Tamar, I'm, I'm saying she said it, told Tracy she she did to her. Yeah. Let's talk about that. It's because Tracy wanted to continue to film and they didn't. They felt like they should be getting Kardashian money and they felt like they should be getting Nene Leakes money. Um, and when WeTV was like, y'all tripping, they walked and Tracy said, no, I got mouths to feed and bills to pay. I love y'all, but no. I'm not quitting my job. I'm not but quitting my job. Tracy also is probably the only one who was working. This whole yeah. time in a in a different realm because you know Trina was doing entertainment stuff. Yeah, Wanda was doing entertainment stuff and being uh, Tony's assistant and all this stuff. They were they had different you know entertainment jobs or gig work. It's gig yeah. work. She she knows an HR department. Okay, exactly. and she <laughs> she's like, look, I signed a contract. I made a commitment. I'm gonna do and it. And what was the difference between her signing that contract and y'all going on to sign y'all's record deal contract without her? Like it's the same situation. I have an opportunity here and I'm gonna pursue it. Sucks to be you. Same situation. Say it again, Say it again girl. They didn't same like the situation. It. it ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. Okay. And they give that every time. I hate it. <laughs> Ugh, I yeah, I think that's the worst part of it all. It, yeah. And I hate to say this, but if any of the other sisters passed, I just feel like this would be a lot different. What do you mean? How do you mean? They're just attitudes about things. I just feel like um, even when they honored her, when she passed away, like they posted a picture of all of them. Mm hmm. And, and Tracy wasn't even in the center, I don't think. So I'm no. like, oh, hi, uh, girl, you don't do. <laughs> this is a time where y'all bring out the family photos of like the old photos yeah. we have never seen of Tracy. Not Tracy y'all's WeTV promotion yeah, you shot. Yeah, the whole thing. Like, let's, yeah, not not a promo shot for the, what the fuck? Yeah. What are y'all doing? From the I, show I, that y'all like, stopped talking to her over, like. And you said she's, the, I would never say to my sister no. and me and my sister fight sometimes mm -hmm. all siblings fight never say that to my sister mm -hmm. you're dead to me you're dead for to that me. though mm -mm. it wasn't even that serious to say something like that no because all of y'all could make money either you could make money on your own or y'all had men that had money like so what no, like I quit my regular nine to five to do this. And now y'all telling me I can't no more. Like how I'm supposed to pay my mortgage. No, you tripping. Yeah, they try to stop her bag. Like they tried to stop her bag in 1996, 1995, exactly. whatever. Exactly. And, and that was not right. They should, now I can't send, I can't send oh. me some. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, now I can't stand Latasha Scott from Escape. But when her sister got pregnant. She stood by her side. She stood by her side. And she not out the group. We're not kicking her out the group. We're going to have to make this work. Period. Mm -mm. No. They was like, oh, Tracy sorry, Tracy. A lot pregnant. She could have missed some show dates, came right back. Yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't like Trina didn't already have Caleb or Eric right. or whichever one is the oldest. Whichever but, one. Yeah. She had a kid. Yeah. So what yeah. Mommy can watch this one too. Come on, mommy. You coming on the road and you're gonna watch this baby. And you're gonna watch this baby. And she had a husband. So she has somebody to to watch the baby. Oof, girl. Mm, or even if they something. wasn't married yet, like she was still with her baby daddy. I think so they were. They were married. They been mar I think they've been married for when she died, they have been married for 29 years. And, and oh Kevin yeah, so the son. Well, yeah. it might be 29, so maybe, but I thought he was because we saw him when he was little. Remember? Little. Um, when was yeah. Started? So, yeah, they were married. Yeah. So it's like. But yeah, no. It's I don't know. Um, but that's the main question that I have for them. Like, why aren't y'all close? Like, what happened to y'all? What happened? Really, what happened? Oh, and if they're not going to get down to the nitty gritty of that, then what is the show for? Yeah. What is it for? And nobody wants to talk. They all said they wanted to do grief counseling, and they all said their mom's the word. I'm not ready. Well, ma'am, what am I here for? If ain't nobody ready to talk, <laughs> so confused. 
<laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't need a yarn look back. To so confused. Oh, I'm just here to observe. I'm just here to observe. So again, it's like, oh, oh my God, y'all. So we just doing this because we need something to film. Because if you just here to observe, Tamar already Tawanda and Tamar, you already had grief counseling. So you just here for moral support. Tony, you don't know what grief counseling is. So you just going to watch and see. And Trina, you know what it is. You had it before. You like her, but you're not ready to talk yet. Y'all could have kept it. Tell y'all was ready to talk. <laughs> Because y'all built me up to let me down. <laughs> Nobody said yeah. nothing. Which I Nobody. guess next week they did show like Trina's going to explode. But I don't know. I don't know. And not only yeah. is Tamar an executive producer, so is Tony Braxton's um, production company. Mm -hmm. So y'all pretty much signed the same deal that y'all had before where Tony and Tamar are getting all the money. Yeah, you know, um, so when we started this conversation, I thought it was going <laughs> to be I'm so sorry. different, but now I'm breaking it down and I'm just like, that was. I, I watched it with my, well, my husband was there while I was watching it. Episodes and get my life because this is going to be a hard watch. It yeah. probably, it probably could have been an email. Um, Basically. I feel like. I don't want to cry every episode. No. Um, what I would like to see, let's, let's let's go there. What I would like to see is them grow, them, first of all, break them down to their socks. Yep. Then build them up and yep. have them do some more sisterly, have some sister moments where they're having fun, where they're laughing, maybe go on a little trip together mm -hmm. and get along and end it on a high note. That's yeah. what I would like for the show to to do. I don't need yeah. to see y'all set up no businesses. No. I don't. Now, it, you know, it'll be co cool to see Tony back on tour because of her yeah. health scare. Um, but let's see you guys bonding and doing what Tracy would have wanted you to do. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see it, but that's what I want to see. I know Tawanda's gonna get engaged on the show, um, because they already showed that. Let's hope that that's not a train wreck, because you know how they act when people get engaged. And I feel like they were already engaged, so y'all redoing that's it for the show. Cool. They this girl. I thought they was engaged. Know. I thought they was married. To be honest. You know, she's secretive, so I thought she had secretly married him. Do you remember yeah. when she was starting over? Do you remember that show? Yes. Okay. Yeah, with the Yama back in the day. Married. Yep. And she mm -hmm. had just, my brother watched it every day. Um, she had just married Andre. Mm -hmm. And her she was on there talking about how she eloped and didn't tell her family. Mm -hmm. And it was because of, I think it was after the Trina you know, he didn't come to Trina's wedding and everything. Mm -hmm. And she just didn't want the family like involved. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, that's Tawanda's MO. Like, I'm just going to go get married. And yeah, as long as y'all find out when like, y'all find out. Right, right. Um, I did see that they were blacking out <laughs> Andre and Vince's faces. And people were like, why are they blurring out their faces? Like, where? You know, on the show, on the new like one. Like old clips or something? Yep, old clips. Oh. And <laughs> I, was like, Andre. Like, I like Andre. Permission to be on the show, like <laughs> her and Andre fell out, and and you have you have to have permission to have I that. Guess so. with it, I like Andre. Lower out their faces. He's fun. I know you said you you met him personally. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tawanda's son used to play football with my son, the one I just took to college. But um, he was fun. I mean, of course, you know, I'm on the outside looking in, but again, it's yeah. like mm, it's two sides to every story. It always off, girl. And it I don't always think is. it was all him. I don't think any of the Braxton women are ever at fault. Oh yeah, no, it's never their fault. But only one who ever took accountability was Ding 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 Tracy. Tracy, he said. I feel like Trina. Me. Trina does every now and again. Did you watch her Yonla episode though? With the son and Gabe. I think so. I'm trying to remember. She was bullying the hell out of Gabe. Probably. <laughs> she came out and she acts like her mom. And because Trina, um, because her mom, or this is before 
Iyanla came on their show. Right. So she did a fix know, my life Iyanla episode. Put back the layers, like, well, why did you act like that? Where did you get that from? And she was like, yeah. well, my mom, you know, I learned yeah. it from my parents. And whatever. I think Iyanla so had a problem with Iyanla when she got there. I was that just was about exactly to say, I think Iyanla said that when she came on their show, she was pretty much saying, you know, you the head of this, and that's why, because you. The but, fish yeah. stink from the head down. <laughs> <laughs> head to the tail from the root to the tutor. It's wrong. I'm wrong. And she don't want to be wrong. She don't want to no. be wrong. I, no. Yeah, um, I, that that showed me a different side of Trina, and I was like, now yeah, do I true. think that she had a lot of resentment towards Gabe, and so she she abused him verbally because of that? Yeah, yeah. But that was probably how her mom has resentment towards her dad for what he did to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm happy. Well, you know. <laughs> Not happy that Gabe passed, but before he passed, how they separated and were able to become friends. Um, yeah. But I think she's with the a, the right person for her now. I you know, think so too. Yeah, but I like Trina. Um, I, I, I like Trina. And I, I I like all of them. I like all of them. But, but Tawanda just don't rub me the wrong way with this alopecia chair. <laughs> <laughs> she got to explain she did. <laughs> she and it's like, well, if you don't tell a lie, keep up with your lies, because you said it wasn't <laughs> nothing but you standing up for your sister. Now you you switching up on us. Don't switch up. Don't switch up on us. Um. Now this is this is a little just nitpicky. Uh, Tony and Birdman. Do you think that they're completely over? No, because she said it. She was too elusive. Yeah, I don't even remember what she said, but whatever she said, it makes sense. It's like, I'm not engaged, but I'm not single, but I'm not, I don't know. It didn't make sense, but yes, they still in an entanglement or maybe they just friends with benefits or whatever. But yeah, no, I don't think it's over. I think he helps. I think he helps her. I do too. Um, Financially. And I'm not saying she needs the financial help, but everybody could use some extra Absolutely, extra money. Um, but yeah, I think it was BS how she was like, oh, I'm just focusing on my boys. Girl, your boys is in college, grown. They grown. Both <laughs> of your boys are grown. You are having fun, okay? Exactly, and cool. say that. I, just say I would that. never talk about Birdman again. <laughs> now she could be with Birdman, but I would never talk about him. Mm-mm. It is not. It is not good for her brand. No, Mm-mm. it's not. It's not. It's not a good look for her brand. They're too different, but girl, just get your mm-hmm. coin, get your Bentley trucks. Okay. And shh. Exactly. <laughs> Have fun. It ain't nobody's business. I'm excited to see Tony and Cedric work together. I hope they show a lot of that because yes. that sounds like fun. Like I can see that being super fun. It does. Because Tony is funny. Uh, she mm-hmm. When she wants to be funny and air, she, she's she's corny. corny. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's so corny. She's corny, so, but yeah. it's like, Cute. It's She's cute, adorable. Like mm-hmm. Tony, bad B. Yes, is yeah. Bad. She would get a legend of style absolutely out of the Braxtons. Oh, okay. is Miss Tony the Braxton? Tony is a trendsetter. Yes, since I was, let's talk a minute about Miss Tony Braxton and why mm. the reason why we're all here because we wouldn't give a damn about yeah. none of these people. None of them. If it Not wasn't for this Tony Braxton, the first time I heard "Love Should Never Up True," girl, <laughs> my eight-year-old self—I was about to say a kid. I was going through it. Okay, my man had not returned. <laughs> <laughs> I remember stealing my mama's Tony Braxton CD, and she had, you know, it was one with the lyrics in it. Yep. I, I learned them lyrics to seven whole days, like my yeah. life on it. And yeah. I would be performing it and doing they whole, they, yeah. the practices was in the back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was the my, whole thing. she was my hair inspiration. I couldn't wait to cut off my hair. Yep. I remember I did a little Tony Braxton cut, like in the early 2000s. I was like, give me that old Tony Braxton. Mm-hmm. Couldn't tell yep. me shit. Tony Braxton was, that girl and she's yes. she's so unique um they say that tamar is the best singer and tamar can blow don't get yes, me wrong can. but tony's voice is it's so unique. Like no 
it's so unique and pretty. Like that tone is just, oh, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. just goosebumps. When you hear her, you're like, oh, that's Toni Braxton. Like she, she makes, she, her catalog is crazy good. Yes. Like, amazing. Still makes good songs to this day. And that the you can listen to, to this day. Mm-hmm. Yep. And even that one, um, that one song that came out during the pandemic that I love. Oh, long as I live. Oh, yes. I love that oh. song. I love it. And you can hear oh. the sisters in the background, too. I love that. Because now it's like I know their voices. So it's like, oh, mm -hmm. that's them. But yeah, mm -hmm. that, that song is a, is a bop. I love that song, too. Yeah. So um, I, give, I give Tony all the credit um, for really driving that family. I know she feels that guilt, but she should not mm -hmm. feel guilty. At yeah, all. She like, did not. God put her in that place. God put her at that gas station for yeah. that man to hear her singing. And God made it so that she could go solo because I don't think the Braxtons oh, no. as a group would have soared the way that no. Tony did. Tony, she, I mean, just from Anita Baker saying, hey, had a, had a little girl. Had that little girl sing it. Yes. Oh, on that boomerang soundtrack. Idol? Your idol saying that too? Like you need to on. let her sing it. Like that's amazing. And she was bad. Like when she when she they made know, they, her into that though. Shout out to Babyface and LA Reed because they no, made Tony Pebbles. Pebbles, Pebbles was the one. And Pebbles, yes. Pebbles, she talks about it in the book. I don't know if you've ever read her book. I never but read the book. Peb she said when she got to um Atlanta. She was just a country girl in her little car. She, you know, she had her original nose. Mm -hmm. She had her, her long hair. And um, they sent her with Pebbles. Like, yep. Pebbles going to hook Style you up. her up. Fix her she up. Said she gave her a Chanel bag. <laughs> and she said, you need, you should cut your hair. And she was like, oh, really? Okay. And so she got her this, you know, told her this cute little style to get. And then she was like, mm. Have you ever thought about a nose job? And she said, I was relieved when she said that because I always wanted a nose job. Wow. And so she told her where to get her nose done. And she said, so she has her nose done like right when she came out and it's, you know, it gets smaller small. as it, you know, she was like, it's going to gradually get smaller. So nobody is going to know. Mm -hmm. And so Tony Braxton to this day has one of the best nose jobs. Yes. Because it doesn't look. I was going to say it looks natural. Yes, it looks very, very natural, very nice. It she did not alter her face that much mm -hmm. to me, and to, uh, Halle Berry too. Halle Berry got a good ass nose. Oh too. yeah, Kelly Rowland too. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> some, some of these nose jobs are really good, but um, she she got breast implants, she got mm -hmm. nose jobs, and yeah. she cut off that hair and put on them little cute little dresses. She started yeah. like, oh, I can be because she was just a little. She was a church girl. girl. Country church girl. She was a country church girl. And, you know, they grew up or they're from Severn, Maryland. I'm from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Severn and Glen Burnie are five minutes apart. Wow. Um, so where I grew up, going, we I went to the same elementary school as the Braxton girls, same middle school, same high school. Um, and every talent show that I was in, whether I was singing or dancing, all them white people knew was Tony Braxton. So it was always, oh, you know, let's welcome Richard Henry Lee's own, you know, the next Tony Braxton. So it's like I always got that being the only black girl singing, dancing, whatever I was doing in every show. I always got compared to Tony mm. and never realized that she grew up in Severn until I was older, probably grown. It was like, oh, they're from here, like down the street, like. Uh yeah, our churches are like 10 seconds apart, like their church that her daddy church and the church I go to like mm -hmm. that was so crazy. But to see them now or like even to the episodes where they went back and visited their hometown and stuff like that, their um, their original house and stuff. It's like, I know that house. I know that park. Like, I know all of that. And just Tony Braxton, like, you know, she is Baltimore's own. Like even them, they all say they're from Baltimore, but they're from Severn. But they are our gem, our idol, our everything. Tony yeah. at least, is our everything. She is a legend and just, oh, the talent. It, the talent is amazing. Yes. And she's never had no wild, crazy scandals or nothing like that, except for like her bankruptcy. Like she stayed out the way. All legitimate, so. Yeah, she stays out the way. So it's just like, 
I don't know. I hope her brand isn't completely tarnished by the shenanigans of this reality TV stuff. I don't think so. I think people, I I think she's done a good job of, and you know, the thing I will say about the Braxton's, even though they have drama, it's family drama. It's family drama. And it's, it's nothing too bad that they can't come back from. Right. You know, it's not Zeus. It's not. You know. I feel like Tamar was on the verge of that, though, when she was doing her own show and the divorce and the suicide attempt. And the yeah, it was a lot. It was a the, lot. The, the weird lady she was with. I forgot what they called her. The white lady that was like doing her. She yeah. wasn't a counselor. What was she, a life? Maybe like a life coach or something. But she was doing some kind of weird spiritual stuff. I don't know. It was it was getting real. Real crazy for a second there. I think I don't think that guy was good for her either, though. No, that David or whatever. Yeah, the African guy. You know, he brought in good energy. Um, but you know, they're all talented. That's one thing I can't mm-hmm. I can't take away from them. They all have great personalities, um, different personalities, but great personalities for television. Um, if we want to compare them to like the Kardashians. Kardashians are boring to me. I've um, never watched one episode. Really? Really. They don't interest me. I'm not interested. Now, I, I stopped watching a long time ago, but I did used to watch like back in like 08 when it right. started and stuff. Um, they're boring. They're, <laughs> they got more boring. They were more entertaining when they were young and not as rich. Yeah. Know, and as popular when they were could still be like silly and goofy and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like Kylie was like nine, um, but now they're just too too wealthy. I don't I don't see. I'll see like clips and stuff, and I'm like, mm. like I don't follow them on anything because they just don't interest me. I just no. think they're just they're boring. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, and the Brysons will make me laugh. They will make me cry. They will piss me off. They will. <laughs> <laughs> do all they were kinds relatable of, very relatable very relatable um and even though they're they have money they still seem like i could see them in Publix and be like hey absolutely man, you absolutely. know so i i mean i'm looking forward to the rest of the season although i think it's going to be the end um mm-hmm. but i won't blame them if it is the end you know like you said they should end it and end on a high note Yes. Leave us with a good memory. And then we always had the old stuff to look back and reminisce on mm-hmm. the good times of bad wigs and no money. Yeah. Oh, so fun. I'm probably going to turn it on right now. <laughs> so Roku. It's on like replay on Roku right now. So I just oh, been cracking up. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Um, I can't, you know what? I can't wait for, for Real Housewives of Atlanta to start. Yeah. Because we're definitely going to review those, okay? It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. Because the mess. I'm here for the mess, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back up next week to talk about something else, y'all. But something. it's been nice catching up with you. And you too. watch the Braxton's. Everybody watch the Braxton's Friday nights on We. I think it comes on at 9.30 at every nine. day. So it comes on at nine. Yeah, last week it came on at 9 30. I didn't know why. I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. Love After Lockup was like an hour and a half, which, <laughs> if you don't watch Love After Lockup, maybe <laughs> watch that. <laughs> Them is the, they are the dumbest people I've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh. These people are dumb, but right. it's entertaining. So, yeah, <laughs> watch this <laughs> week on WeTV at nine o'clock. The Braxtons, they're back. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. See ya.